Hello everyone. So let's see the third problem from biweekly 100. So find score of an array after marking all elements. You are given an array nums consisting of positive integers. Starting with score 0, apply the following algorithm. Choose the smallest integer of the array, okay? That is not marked. If there is a tie, choose the one with the smallest index, okay? Fine. Add the value of the chosen integer to score, okay? Mark the chosen element and its two adjacent elements if they exist okay repeat until all the elements are marked okay return the score you get after applying the following algorithm so if you see the examples this is the array okay one is the smallest number right okay we have chosen it and we have marked it as well as the two elements adjacent to it right it's left and right isn't it so we have marked them okay fine now two is the smallest unmarked element so we mark its left and adjacent element okay this is the two unmarked two so we mark this five okay see this two has been marked and this one has been marked there is nothing to the right isn't it so this one is marked okay now which one is unmarked remaining four is the only unmarked element so we mark it it's marked isn't it so our score is one plus two plus four that is seven okay so in each step we are choosing the smallest number right so this kind of gives us an idea we have to use a data structure which will provide us the smallest element at each step okay fine now we need to mark the indices right we have to mark the indices at each step okay now how do we know that uh, all the elements have been marked we are marking the indices okay not the elements because elements can be duplicate but not the indices okay so for that we can use a data structure called set okay in which we can put all the marked indices okay so whenever the set of uh, size of the set is becomes equal to the size of the array that means all the elements have been marked isn't it that is pretty basic thing okay fine now the thing is we have to use a data structure we will pro which will provide us the smallest number at each step so for that we can use a min heap priority queue okay so what we will do we will use a priority queue okay now in all of them and in the queue we will put all of them along with their index okay so our priority queue will look something like this 1 comma index 1 okay 2 comma index 0 2 comma index 5 3 comma index 2 uh, then 4 comma index 3 and 5 comma index 4 okay here is a tie right so we will choose the one which has the smaller index it's it's said in the question okay now we pick out the topmost the uh, smallest element okay we pick it out then we add it to score this is our score so we add one okay now since we have used this index okay so we will mark it so in our set we will put this is our set we will put this index that this is marked okay now what is our task our task is to mark the adjacent indices as well okay this and this so what is that index i minus one and i plus one so let's mark these two indices as well zero and two okay fine now this one is done okay now let's pop out the next element which is 2 we pick out this one we see that the index is already marked okay so we skip it then we come to this we pop this out okay so this is unmarked right so we will mark this index okay we mark this index also we add this number to our score add it okay now we will uh, mark the adjacent indices okay this and this but this is out of bounds so only this one okay this and this are also marked so in our set we add this number okay done this one is also done now what about this we pop this out okay index 2 is already marked isn't it it, it is uh, present in the set so skip this one okay now comes this 4 we pop this out and we see if 3 is marked index 3 is marked no it's not marked so we put this 3 in our index uh, in our set and we add this number to the score okay fine work is done now we pop this out we pop this out we see that this index is already marked right index 4 is already marked so we mark this one too right previously so our heap is empty now so this is the score that we have achieved okay so this is direct implementation okay just by looking at the operations okay so let's see the code now so this is the solution we uh, initialize the priority queue min heap okay in case the numbers are equal we will sort them on the basis of indices okay otherwise we will sort them on the basis of the numbers itself okay so our priority queue will have a something like this this is the number let's say n and this is the index okay at position one at position zero okay so this is the thing we put all of them okay offer them into the priority queue then we initialize our hash set to store the uh, uh, 
uh, indices that we are marking okay then we initialize our uh, variable score which is of type long okay now while our uh, heap is not empty and our set size is not equals to nums dot length right when we will mark all the indices it will contain all the indices right our set will contain all the indices isn't it so that set set size will become equal to our length of our nums isn't it pretty simple okay then we pop out the topmost stuff okay then we will see the index okay where is the index at uh, position one index one isn't it so if this set contains the index that means this index is already marked so we will skip this one okay otherwise we will add the element to the score okay this is number and this is i at index 0 and 1 okay so we'll add this we will add this okay then if top of 1 that is if this one minus 1 is inbounds okay if it is inbounds then we will add it to set okay we will add it to set that means we will mark it okay also if the current index plus 1 that is the index at the right if the, it is inbounds then we will mark mark it as well okay by adding it to our set so this is the work that we are doing okay i hope it's clear so let me repeat we pop out the topmost stuff okay and we will see if the index of that particular thing that we uh, popped out if it is contained in the set that means if it is marked if it is marked then continue okay no need to do anything otherwise add that element to our score right add that element to our score okay after that check the left index if it is in bounds if it is in bounds mark it by adding it to set then check the right uh, right index plus one isn't it if it is in bounds add it to set that is mark it keep doing this until our set sizes doesn't become equal to nums dot length okay then after that return the score finally so this is the solution totally in implementation based the time complexity is a big of n log n okay for n times we offer it into our parity queue okay then while our uh, heap is not empty we keep popping it okay so n log n and our space complexity is a big of n right a big of 2n actually for this parity queue and this hash set isn't it so space complexity is bigger of n so this is our solution i hope you understood it if you have any doubt don't forget to comment okay other than that if you like this video do hit the like button share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one Bye bye